okay in this video we'll discuss how to connect a search chat cluster with indexer cluster now if you remember from my previous video i talked about how to configure index cluster as well as search chat cluster right so now we will we will make the connection now if i just recap what we have done previously so if you remember for the search chat cluster configuration what we have done is in the deployer we first configured the pass key as well as the search chat cluster level right then in each cluster member we run this splunk command called splunk init sh cluster config right with the details of user id password the management URI, the replication port, replication factor, and the deployer URL, and the pass key we have set up before, and the search chat cluster level we have give set up before, right? And then what we have done is we have choose the captain from from any of the search chat member. We just ran this bootstrap search chat cluster captain command, right? To elect a captain from all the available search chats, right? Now. To see the search chat cluster status, we have seen this one. Now, if I just show you my setup over there, so we had previously for search chat cluster three search chats and a deployer over there, right? And I already logged into a search chat cluster one, search chat one basically. So if I just run this command dot slash plum, this this particular command I am trying to run over here now show search at cluster status okay show sh cluster status over there okay so if you see it will show you which one is the captain and what are the search at cluster members over there right so you have all this instant details over there and also if you remember from my previous video we configured the indexer clustering as well right where we have done similar kind of setup so in the server.conf we have created this master node. this is basically in the cluster master so we have done this configuration like the mode will be master then the replication factor search factor pass key and the cluster level similar kind of details whatever we have done it over here for the search at cluster right and then from each and every indexer we basically did it from the ui right we choose which one will be the part of the cluster indexer cluster now for indexer cluster we have a slightly different concept where we have the master node which is actually different from the whole cluster level the peer nodes the these peer nodes are basically act as as a indexing portion of it right like it, it will be involved in the indexing of the data and master node will be mainly involved in the management part of it okay where in the search at cluster the captain also can work as a search at as well apart from its day-to-day -day -day management works right now if i just go back over here so in the server.com so basically we did it from the ui so you have selected which node it will be mode so for each and every peer the mode will be slave mode right and there we have given the master URA and the pass key we have set up before over there right now if i just show you the indexer cluster setup currently we have so we have three indexer and a cluster master over there and if i just go to our settings and indexer clustering I'll be reaching this this particular page where it will show you a dashboard uh, with all the details like what are the different search peer names over there what are the indexes currently it is replicating and what are the searches now search it we will be configuring it now currently it is only showing the cluster master because this is the instance where we are seeing this particular dashboard right now to configure or basically to connect a search at cluster with a indexer cluster what we need to do is we need to run a command basically from each and every search at cluster member so if i just go over here so from each and every search at cluster member we have to run a command to connect with this indexer cluster over there okay so to do that what we need to do is we need to run basically this command splunk edit cluster config 
then the mode will be the search head okay and the master uri of the indexer this is important okay that means here we are giving the indexer master uri cluster master uri and the secret key okay so to let let us let us just do that one okay so what i'll do is i will just copy this one for here okay and we will just try to form this particular command i'll just make it like a single line so that it will be easier for us to run okay so my mode will be searched that is fine the master uri now what will be the my master uri so if i just go to our cloud instance over there so i have to give them uri of the cluster master over here okay so i already saved these details in this server.txt okay so i'll just copy this guy over here i'll go over here and over here you have to give https and the management port okay so this is how the uri we will be configuring and the secret key is the secret key of the indexer now if i just go back over here again while setting up the indexer cluster right in the cluster master we have given a secret key right so you have to give the secret key which we have set up set it up in the indexer clustering level okay so i'll be giving the secret key so i already given this very small simple one so in production scenario ideally you have to give the proper complex secret keys okay so now this this will be the command right which we need to run from each and every search at cluster member now i'll just copy this command now i'll go to our google instance i'll first i think i already logged into search at one yes so i'll just clear the screen C L E A R. Okay. Now I will run this command. Now the cluster, the cluster config property has been edited. You need to restart the Splunk server for your changes. So that means it will be a Splunk restart, right? Okay. So this is my search at one. Let's do the same thing from search at two as well. So I'll just log in over there. We'll wait for some time to key transfer. So in between, I'll just click on over here as well. Okay. So in between, we'll see our indexer clustering over here. Okay. Now, if you see in the search head tab, automatically our search head one is showing up over here, and the status is showing up up over here. Okay. Now let us do the same thing. From our search head cluster two, search head member two. Okay, so we'll first sudo su. Okay, we will clear the screen. We'll go to cd slash opt splunk bin folder. Okay, now we'll copy this command again. We will run it. So again, we have to restart the Splunk. Splunk restart. Okay. So the same thing we'll be doing over here as well. In search it three, right? So we will first sudo su. We will clear it so that you can see it properly. Okay. We'll go to Splunk bin folder. bin right and we will run that command okay we will restart splunk okay so our splunk has been restarted let's wait for some time so in between this one we already added search at two right so if you see the search at 2 is also showing up over there and now just now the search at 3 is also showing up over here that means 
we are able to successfully able to connect the whole search at cluster with the indexer cluster over there now if i if i just it is still showing down because maybe it is still restarting after some time it it, it 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 should show up yeah it is showing up now okay so if i just log into a search head now so i'll just go over here to this url let's log into the search head one or let's say search head two okay so if i just log in over there we'll wait for some time we'll log in over there Okay. We'll go to search and reporting just to run a search. Just wanted to show you, we are able to see the all the all the indexes over there. So if I run a search index equals to underscore internal, okay, I'll just run for last fifteen minutes. Let's run it. Now, if you see the host, okay, I think maybe I will just pull for last 24 hours. Okay, if you see for last 24 hours, all the data for the all different indexers has been already pulled up and we are able to we are able to search it right so this is how the whole clustering stuff works so what basically what we have done in this video is we just connected if i just go back to this diagram again we just connected this whole search at cluster with the indexer cluster okay in future videos we will see like we'll try to set up a multi-site cluster and see how to connect them as well and we'll also try to see different different other options like if i just add a new member to the search head how to do that how to delete a member from the search head cluster or index cluster those type of use cases we'll see in future videos okay see you in next